Okay, here's our house walkthrough. It's empty. Vanessa's in here with me, but this time we have the blinds open. I'm in the foyer area, so I'm just gonna turn around so you can see the foyer area. There's the front door and the front hall closet. And I'm walking back into the living area right now. So you can see the whole foyer area. Okay. And when you're in the foyer area, off to the right is our bedroom and off to the left is the kitchen. Straight ahead is the living and dining area and Vanessa. All right, let's start with the kitchen. Let's go to the left. Right here, there's a pantry. And the house isn't done yet, so those are the tiles that are gonna go on the backsplash behind the kitchen cabinets. And this is the kitchen. One of the things I like about this house is that it has uh, all knockdown walls and um, uh, sheetrock walls, crown molding, knockdown ceilings. Right, our kitchen, our kitchen. It is a Jacobson home. And also, we chose Lenor linoleum. I can't speak. Sorry, guys. Linoleum flooring throughout. <laughs> It does have Formica countertops. We did. We are not going to go fancy here. This is kind of a fixer-upper, modular home. All of the appliances are GE appliances. There's Nessa prepping her dolls for their photo shoot. Here, okay. And then there is the refrigerator and the stove and the microwave pantry wall. So this is like the food storage wall. All right, continuing to the left, this is the girl's playroom or children's playroom. This is one of the bedrooms. This will be our youngest daughter's bedroom. And again, those are those the same flooring all the way throughout the whole entire house because we know we want pets, so we want something that's easy to clean. Our little children doesn't have to worry. We don't have to worry about cleaning up spills off of the carpets. So this is just right. The house also came with all of the blinds. And it exits out onto the playroom. This is her closet. And the doors slide. They don't hinge. It's right there like that. It's the interior of her closet. It's a pretty deep closet. <laughs> Now we're in the playroom area. And if you're at the windows, you look back out into the kitchen and into the girls' bathroom. I said girls' bathroom only because we only have daughters. It's the children's bathroom. So whenever we have children come over, this will be the bathroom that they'll use. One of the things that I love about this bathroom is that there is a light tube providing extra light during the day so you're not needing to turn on lights all the time. This will be my old, older daughter's bedroom. It's the bigger of the two bedrooms. Oops. It just went blurry. And that's her closet. And as I said, the house is not 100% done. There's still a few little minor things that need to get finished, like maybe the paint needs to get finished right there. Closet door still needs to be hung. And this is the panel for the hot water heater that needs to be 
attached. And the baseboards around the floor in the closet, her closet door. Hung up. And done painting. I think her room is the one that needs the most work at this point. All right, so I exit back out into the kitchen from the playroom and continuing our tour to the left. I'm sorry, I'm walking too fast. Exiting out of the kitchen, you can see this exits right out onto the dining area and living area. We go to the left again. We're greeted by the guest bathroom and it has a block window also for additional lighting throughout the day. The light tube offers way more lighting, but that's nice too. And the light fixture that is in this bathroom, the same lights that are in all of the bathrooms. And if you remember the dining area is right behind this bathroom, same light uh, shades. Right. They're working on the septic system right outside. All right, so let's continue to the left. This back half of the house, um, this is the guest bedroom. It's gonna be storage for now because we did not build a garage. And as you can see, this closet is all the way done. This is what the closet should look like with the cap over the front of it, sliding doors hung and just quarter round on the floor just to finish off the floor in the closet. I'm gonna be using this closet for bulk storage. Oh, there's a light fixture in here. Nice. <laughs> okay, backing out of there. And continuing the tour, our next stop on this side of the house is the laundry room. Um, before I do that, I can see this is the AC vent and thermostat, ceiling light fixture, and comes down into the laundry room. The matching light fixture for this area, as I said, is not finished. This is one of the things that really sold me when we saw this house. Oh, I had to have this laundry room. upper cabinets for storing my oils and supplies required for soap making, a sink for washing out my crock pots and washing my chihuahua, <laughs> lower cabinets for more storage for laundry detergents, a space for a washer and dryer, a space underneath for a little stool so you can Work right here. It's a nice workstation for crafting. Just very nice. Or folding clothes, right? All right, so this corner of the laundry room, we plan on putting our freezer and perhaps some type of shelving um, because I know me, I'm probably going to be growing microgreens or starting seeds back here. So that's going back here as well. Or maybe this area will be great for growing seeds, as long as we don't need to get into that electrical panel too much. Okay, so let's come from the back of the house or this side of the house and let's walk through the living area. One of the things that was provided by the builder is are these steps um, at each of the ed entrances to the house. And we're heading towards the master bedroom now. Okay. So on the right, as you walk in, is the office. And one of the reasons we chose this house is because it has an office in the master bedroom or a, a sitting area we will be using as an office. 
And this is gonna be um, my husband's closet, Mr. Horn, and his whole space. As I said, still that looks still not done, but that's one of the things that um, hopefully they'll be done very soon. We open up his closet. We can see the, the baseboard isn't attached. There's no light in here as there was in the guest bedroom closet. It's very interesting how there's a light in there. I must go check the other rooms. Okay. Andy has French doors that lock. It's really good because, you know, that way we can keep our kids safe. And this is our master bedroom. Two windows. We'll put the bed on that wall right over here. It won't be centered because the room isn't made like that. The windows aren't perfectly centered on the wall. Uh, let's go to the bathroom next. And in here we have the tub. with subway tiles and mosaic tile tub and the tub surround. There's a window over the tub, which I'm trying to think of some things I can do to decorate in here besides just hang curtains and put candles, everybody does that. What are some things I could do? Suggestions in the comments, please. I'm thinking green wall, hang some plants, uh, shelving for towels. Ah, oh, we already have that. Look, there is a storage closet in here. So we could put shampoo bottles, towels, bathroom cleaning supplies. We have plenty of storage in this bathroom. This is one of the other rooms in the house that really sold it for me. I love the, uh, the tile. Um, I'm a big fan of subway tile. Um, you read in the description for our channel. I grew up in the big city. I was born in the big city, so. Um, so moving to the country on and having this much space to ourselves, it's really a dream come true for me. And, uh, looking forward to the privacy. What are some things I can do to make this area more attractive? There are actually two windows in the bathroom with a vent and a light in the shower toilet area. And here are our bathroom sink vanity area. Lots of storage for both Mr. Horn and myself. Those same light fixtures with two mirrors. This would also be a great place to put a plant or glass shelves with more plants aromatherapy type plants. So they have tile right here. Beautiful. And you know, I know it's not granite, but it's our house, I love it. All right, so the last stop is my closet, which this is a 12 foot deep master closet, which uh, right here has like a separated area that it's almost like a linen area. Perhaps this is a good place to put towels, things that you just need to reach in and grab very quickly without going into the rest of the closet. But here we go. It has two light fixtures. It has its own ventilation. And it's an interior room. No, it is on the back wall of the house, isn't it? 
anyway. Big closet. All right. So that is the master bedroom. And that's it.